Welcome to PrairieFoxSurvival.com. I'm Richard, and today we're going to be canning taco meat. And we have done this before, and it's excellent. You drain juice off of it, it's ready to go, and has great flavor to it. Now the beautiful part about this is, if you don't care for the taco uh, taste of it, you do your hamburger the exact same way. So let's move over to the stove here and I'll show you what we're doing. We're doing about eight pounds of hamburger here. And this is some of the beef we had butchered. So we're between 92 to 95 percent lean on our hamburger. So we don't get that much grease off of it. But what we're doing is we're just cooking it up here, getting it ready. And this is about ready. And then what we're going to do is take this and drain it into a colander, let what grease comes off of it leave, and then we're going to rinse it real good under the faucet to get any excess grease we can off of it. We're going to put it in a large pan and then we're going to add our taco seasoning. And what we use is uh, Williams taco seasoning and I hope I'm getting this in the camera right and we found that to be cheaper than the packets you can buy now with that it depends on your taste we like our stuff spicy so we add a little bit of cayenne pepper extra in it and I'll get back to you here in just a second okay we have all of our meat ready here and what we're doing is right at about nine pounds today. We did do ten, but had some tacos for lunch. And so, nine pounds, this has been cooked, it, the grease has been drained, and it's been rinsed with water, and then put back into the pan, so we don't have a lot of grease in here. Now we want to add three cups, I, I should say, a three quarters of a cup of water per pound. And so what we're going to do, that comes out to a pint and a quart with what we have. I'm going to pour the water in here. And before I pour the second one on, you want five tablespoons of the taco seasoning in here. So that's going to be like 45 tablespoons. And I'm going to kind of spread this out before I put my last deal of water in. I'm going to pour my water over that where it'll just kind of soak in a little bit. Get it all wet there on top. And then I'm going to start mixing this together. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. I'm going to try to pull it away from the side here. Possibly you can see the juice that's built here. And that's what's going to give this the flavor. And what we're going to do, we're going to put this back on the stove to make sure it's good and hot. And we're going to bring to a boil where everything's good and warm. And we're going to stir this as it's cooking. And what that'll do is that'll put our seasonings into the meat before we put them in our jars and can them. And we'll show you what it looks like when we come back. Right, we have everything ready here. I hope you can see this. And you can see we've got a lot of juice here. So those are really going to have a lot of flavor. Now what we're going to do I'm going to, well, we're going to scoop with uh, this spoon. We're going to scoop out so we can get more meat in our jars, less a little bit of our sauce in here. And then we're going to take a regular dip ladle and we're going to fill our jars the rest of the way up with the juice. So let me rearrange here just a second. And we're going to start filling our jars and there is a lot of juice. When do a 
couple of them up here where you can see them. We can probably put a little more in that one. We'll pack it down. And do want to remember that we want to leave one inch of head space in our jars. Hey, that looks pretty good on those. So now what I'm going to do is move this spoon out of the way. Take my ladle. Dip some of my juice out. Actually now, that looks good, and take it, I'm going to make sure there's no air pockets in it, jar's getting warm, and actually when you're ready to reuse this, you can put it in a skillet, juice and all. And you can either let your juice cook down or you can just go ahead and save the meat if you're in a hurry and just drain the juice off to use on your tacos. And of course, as with everything, we're going to write the rims of our jars real good. Whew. Oh no, I have these great gloves, oven gloves, and I guess being a bullheaded Texan, I'm just kind of too foolish to use them. So what we're going to do now is put our lids on and our rings, and then I'm going to get back to you after we've done them all, and we'll show you what we've got before we put them in the canner. Out of nine pounds of meat, we ended up with 11 pint jars and we have these ready to go in the canner in the pressure cooker. We're going to pressure cook them on a pipe for 75 minutes. If it was a quart, it would be 90. And while they're still hot, we need to get them in there. And we'll show them to you after, I'll show you a couple of them after we get them cooked. We had a dirt storm come in yesterday evening and the whole sky turned black with dirt. So we couldn't finish the video, so we figured we'd show you the final product today after we pulled it out. And as I say, we got 11 jars, and if you can see that, they're just as pretty as they can be. That's going to make a very good meal. And as I said earlier in the video, remember that if you don't like tacos or you want half and half, part taco, part hamburger, just go through the very same procedure you just saw, but don't add your taco spices to it, just add your favorite seasoning. So from Prairie, Prairie, Prairie Box Survival, we look forward to seeing you the next time. Thank you.